Hey, welcome to VW Life. Today we got a good episode for we you. We do, Matt Jackson and Tommy B. Today, VW Lifers, we are going to work on Helga the Bus, Matt Jackson's 1965 uh, micro bus. And Matt Jackson, we're going to do a little brake uh, change on it, huh? That is right. Today, SoCal Imports sent us a disc brake kit from AC Industries. Ta da! All That's in all one of box. It. It's, like, <laughs> it's really tiny brake. Are you sure this is going to stop Helga, Matt Jackson? I think there's more. Oh, okay, I hope so. Okay. Yeah, that other box is really heavy. I couldn't pick it up. Uh, so basically a VW bus came with drum brakes and we're doing a little upgrade today, a little modification if you will, and we're going to show you how it's done and we're going to do some before and after testing. Yes, that's the best part. We're going to actually road test like road and track used to do in the olden days. We're oh, going to like brake test. It is. I mean, I, I mean, we're going to get out there and Tommy B's got a tape measure. He's going to measure it all out yep. and we're going to, and then my right foot's going to push the brake pedal. Right. We have a certified Stig right here. You know, what did you call me? You know the Stig? <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh my God, Matt Jackson. <laughs> all right, guys, let's do this. <laughs> let's do it. Let's go. I can have the little puller here you, that should be in your glove box. And, and you, you use the screwdriver yeah, against you, the Yeah, the go rim. against the tire. Oh, against you don't the even, tire. Yeah, you just, you just you your yeah. I teach science for a reason, Jack. The AC Industries kit comes with all the instructions you'll need. Uh, you'll need some wrenches, some sockets. We're going to press in the bearings with this. And uh, we got, you know, everything you need. And now we're going to unbox the kit. We've got the two rotors, the two calipers, bearings, the master cylinder, and all the little bits that are gonna go to put it together. These are the brackets. Um, so overall, it's a really nice looking kit and we're gonna get started putting it on the bus. One thing we're gonna do that's uh, not in instructions, we don't want this rusting, this section right here. So we're just gonna hit that with some black paint real quick along with the brackets and then it'll be good to go. All right, once you have your wheels off and uh, the dust caps, you can use two 27 inch wrenches to get the lock washers off. The driver's side rotates the opposite direction. Uh, righty is loosey, but we gotta get these little clips off first. Yep. We just wanna kinda pry these little boys up a little bit. Don't tell Craftsman I'm doing their, using their tools like this. You will be reusing the lock nuts and this little washer with the kit, so keep those. Oh yeah. You have to adjust the brake pads in to get the drum off. Yes. Oh, you don't need it. Oh. Okay, so that's uh, the stock setup, which is coming out. All right, we got all the old stuff off, and now it's, start, it's time to put- You know, Matt Jackson, there's a saying, out with the old, in with the new. That's right, we got bearings to pack, uh, races to press in. Yeah, and I'm getting hungry. Oh, it's already had that a, time? Already had a snack. And where's the bearded wonder? I don't know, Martin. <laughs> He's here to, to uh, probably, he'll accomplish lunch here shortly. Yeah. Now comes the, uh, now our hands stay clean. Except yes. for Barry, he's doing the uh, yeah. old Barry. Oh, he just told me, hey, for some reason, he just told me to bend over and cough. What? <laughs> What is that all about? <laughs> what a sicko! What kind of people am I hanging out with here? <laughs> Any professional advice on this part? Mm. First, first blow is the best blow. Yeah, you gotta be you gotta be straight. The first cut is the deepest. That's what uh, Rod Stewart said. The first cut is the deepest. Oh well, look who just showed up. I know the bearded wonder. He missed I out brought stuff though. Look, I brought a shifter. All right, so right now we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, the silver paste on there. Isn't that right? 
I don't know a dab will do you. A dab will do you. So these four bolts go into the um, the brackets that we painted black. Little people with silver paces, fantasies. All right, so the uh, instructions say uh, 36 foot pounds. Yes, sir. So that's what we're doing. Follow the instructions, Matt Jackson. We got the brackets on, and now it's time to accomplish lunch time. side we're going to start the new hoses the new hoses are steel and braided um, yeah braided steel so they got these little uh ad adapters they go into your flare fitting here okay el clipo that holds it in place okay. All right, now that those are all good to go, we're gonna go put them on the bus. Woo! It's happening. All right, so now we just wanna get it snug to where it seats and then back it off a bit. And then see what it is, there's tension on it? There is tension. <laughs> What are you doing, Gary? Well, Matt Jackson, one of the deals you gotta do when you put on the disc brakes is you gotta get rid of the, the master cylinder, put on a, what they call a fancy dual circuit. Dual, does that mean two? It means for safety, you got a front and a back. All right, so Pistons. I guess we're taking this guy off and putting the new one on. Yep, so this little guy's coming off. See these? These are the greatest wrenches when you're dealing with brakes because it grabs it on uh, one, two, all sides except for one. So sometimes these are kind of froze up. You got to be real careful because these little uh, double flare fittings, you would really do some damage and then you got to change all that. Yeah. All right, out comes the old one. Oh, that's a supporter. All right, so here's kind of what we're looking at. The front brakes go in one side, the rear brakes go on the back, and then the switch moves. So mm -hmm. we need to move this switch to over here. Yep. And uh, then we're good to go. Okay. So this has been probably 20 years. Push up challenge, VW life. Oh my God. All right, ready, down. Um, okay. On Push up challenge, huh? How many you want me to do? So you, you've seen The Office. If you can do more than 25, you get to go home. <laughs> then Stanley had a heart attack. Yes. <laughs> Go down. Oh, look at that. Woo! Four, five, six, seven, sixteen. <laughs> Matt Jackson's turn. And spy, try, beer, hold, sex. 11, 12. 12. How many did you do? 16. 16. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. And she goes. Real life, but this is true bench bleeding right here. So right now you're getting all the mm -hmm. air out of the system. Keep going, there's no bubbles. Bend that so we need to get the bend out of that and make it go the other way yeah and then this one here needs to be bent straight more straight okay all right so this might be the hardest part of the of the kit is just bending your lines into the new configuration yeah actually what we're finding is if you put a pick into the hole of the brake line you have leverage to bend it at the end yeah and that's kind of what you need you kind of finagle it all right so we ran into a little problem with the uh the brake rod, there's a little too much play there before it engages the, um, the master cylinder. So you can adjust this by uh, backing off that nut and then turning the rod. So that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Took the brake rod out. And so we can so we're ready now. It. We're just going to go spin that and just... 
They say eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch. You just don't want it riding on there. So what we're finding is that the uh, right front is a little, it's just a little far away. So we pulled off that little bracket that Loosened holds on it. the line, loosened this line, and we pulled the whole line this way to where it can find its new location. Matt Jackson, got a little, little bending, had to finagle it with the yoke, which is sometimes you gotta mess with that all the time anyhow. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy right now. All right. Right now we just hook up the brake line. Yep, our switch. All right, so the new kit comes with uh, studs. So we're gonna put a little red Loctite on there so they don't come out. All right, Matt Jackson, so a um, couple of things. They got this, you, you don't put it in with this little spacer, that just to keep the pads in place during shipping. Okay, so this needs to come out. Yeah, yeah you wanna pull that out. I mean, you laugh, but you know, crazier stuff's happened before. Yes, sir. And then this little jewel just slips on here. Right, and there's two uh, bolts that need to be run through. Yep. We put a little bit of silver paste oh, on there. Oh, silver paste. And then uh, these guys go to, I believe, 29 foot-pounds. It's in the instructions, so you can't miss that. Yeah, they thread in nicely, too. Woo! Oh, look at that Scirocco. Wow. Got power there, baby. That looks like a DeLorean. It is. It does, doesn't it? You know what it looks like? It's got the a new Cybertruck. It's got a flux. <laughs> no, it looks way better than that. All right, cool. So we got the caliper on, and uh, we're gonna put the brake line on after this. Yes, sir. So one thing that we noticed on this other side when we got it on, just uh, in case you run into this, uh, the tie rod end, this little bolt was um, sticking up the other way, and it was rubbing. So we just flipped the bolt. It probably needs to be this anyways. So the the bolt head is now on the top, and it it's not causing a issue. So we're putting the brake line on now, and uh, you do caliper side first. Yeah. Uh, we just snug that little bad boy on there. Check for clearance, clearance. Yeah, you don't want this all twisted. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right, so now uh, we put the dust caps on and we bleed it. Yep. All right. And it's time to, yeah. Holding. Hold it. All right, so now we're just bleeding the brakes. All the way on the floor. It should. Okay, pump. Yeah. yeah, Matt Jackson. So, get a lot of air in the system. These calipers are empty. We even though we bench, we saved a lot of time by bench bleeding the master. But you, you still have a lot of air in it. Oh, nothing on that one. That's good. Okay, go ahead. One more. That thing's too full. See, torque specs, according to the bus guru, is set at 85 foot-pounds of torque, uh, and you can do that on your lug nuts. Between here, Matt Jackson, that's, that, that's the oh shit. <laughs> My brakes aren't working. Oh, we need one more cone. I think we need to mark that. So I just counted uh, four, the 34 feet for the best yeah. of the drums. Those are our best drums, and we're where are we? Crazy best one is this no, 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 no. Yeah, so we can't count that one. Yeah, don't this count the outliers. It's a double here. So Keston's consistently 30. we're on the 30 mark. Yeah. So easily we've like already picked one. up five feet. Oh, yeah. All right. So Tommy, we did some oh, before you. and after testing, and uh, what did we end up with? All right. So the drums, on average, pulled up about 35 feet uh, from going a 30 mile per hour roll to when we hit the stop we stopped 35 feet into it that's with the drums and that's uh, when we moved to the disc brakes 
that ended up being a 30 foot consistency. So we gained that, about five feet of stopping distance at 30 miles an hour. Yes, wow. but again, we just literally got the disc brakes yeah, on. Yeah, they're not. We haven't really Probably. put any time on there. Yeah. We drove down to the end of the street <laughs> yeah. and we drove I was back. dragging them going down and dragging them going back. That was yeah, it. Yeah, so. yeah. And they were consistent because we got two dead dead on 30 and then one a little bit. And then, of course, we have to gauge whether or not. Oh, I was right on it every Gary, time. Well, Gary was right on it every yeah. time. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Look, I'm a scientist. I teach science. We, you remove the only variable that we had in this whole situation was changing of the, of the of the from the disc brakes. Right. That's that's what you want. You want to eliminate all the variables, and we only the only variable we had was the disc brakes that if compared to the to the drums and yeah. the proofs in the pudding. I mean, yeah. con congratulations to AD, AC Industries. Yeah, and if you needed a kit uh, for yourself, if you're interested in this kit, um, we'll put a link below. SoCal Imports in California mm -hmm. has this kit. Yeah, and I think absolutely just really well put together kit, wouldn't you say? I mean, it's like as far as how it all come together and everything like that. There's no tricks or or snazzy things. I mean, the, we went above and beyond by painting the rotors and all that making it look good yep the hardest part is bending the lines yeah and adjusting your uh, uh, your little yoke your push rod yes you gotta make sure you get that right so. but i mean it's not hard no yeah. no it's, the it's, brake was crazy solid now right? yes it feels really good i'm very very impressed yeah you were laying on <laughs> yeah, did you see it it was like nosing man <laughs> so yeah i appreciate you guys watching today and if you like what you see uh, hit the subscribe button and like and leave us a comment Yes, and, uh, indeed. I mean, what a what a great day. Uh, thank you guys, as always. Uh, this is what we're going to try to bring you guys here in 2020. More and more good stuff that, uh, that's relevant to, to you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank, to, thank you so much. Have a great day.